Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full glam makeup, full glam look from this to this. So if you want to see how literally I changed my face from a zero tired face with no makeup, literally my hair was a mess. My bags under my eyes were just like horrendous and if you want to see how I reached this look, what I've done to my face to look a bit better, look more presentable, then keep watching. Also if you like my videos, um, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell on, let me know what kind of videos you would like to watch. and. Let's get into the video to show you my look, to show you what I've done to my face. So I'm just going to brush my hair. And I'm going to put some hair clips. Um, if you're wondering, I got these hair clips from Primark. I use them to do my makeup. They're very handy. Let's jump straight into our makeup. So, first thing first, I'm going to go in with some primer. So I'm going to use this one here from Fort Ray Beauty. This was sent to me from Colourpop and I love um, Fort Ray face milks. They hydrate the skin, smell amazing. So I'm just going to put it on like this. As you can see, I'm breaking out so bad today because I have my period so my skin was very good for all this week but today obviously decided to break out so now we're gonna go in with our foundation I'm gonna use this one here from LA Girl Cosmetics um, I'm in the shade Bisque uh, I didn't use this foundation like in ages but I used to love it before so I'm just gonna use it again I'm just going to go in with this beauty sponge. I got this beauty sponge in TK Maxx as a beauty set. Um, and like it's literally the dupe of the beauty blender. It was part like of a beauty brushes set. Uh, this was like around Christmas and oh my god, so soft. Like literally, I'm not even using my beauty blender anymore. I'm like using this every day. So I would say that this foundation is very full coverage. Well, not like very, very, but um, you know, quite full coverage, especially with me, with all my imperfections. So, I'm just gonna do my brows now. Um, very cool thing I'm doing. Um, I used to use this soap bar here, which is a white one, but my brows, yeah, they look nice, but you could always see the white stuff on the hair. Like, not always, but like, you know, it, it would leave more white stuff on the hair. So I was um, shopping for groceries last week and I bought this one here, which is a transparent, you know, clear um, soap bar. I'm just gonna um, spray some setting spray. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B brush for brows. This is my favourite um, brush for brows, I always use it. I'm loving the soap brow thing um, lately, like literally I use it every time I do my makeup. This one from Benefit, the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. I used to like switch up with brow pencils, but it's been a few months where I'm only using this one. And um, sometimes I use my brow wiz from ABH. Uh, you know, I use other pencils too, but now I'm always using this one. Like, I just find my brows always look different when I try to use another pencil. So I just stick with this one, and that's it. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Okay, so brows are done. I just did them off camera because literally it would take me 10 years do them on camera so usually I do my brows very messy as you can see like they just look like what I just like to clean them after like carve them out with concealer like I don't like to be very precise you know I just like to carve them out with concealer later okay, um I want to test out this more so I'm just gonna use this today so this is the new revolution concealer 
so new revolution concealer so it's called the infinite conceal and define 16 hour concealer i'm in the shade c 1.5 i actually like this concealer just that this shade is a bit yellowy too yellowy for me i didn't expect it to be this yellowy because i don't know just look different in the picture so recently um i like to put my foundation on then do my eyes and then do concealer and everything else i know this is so weird i've seen this once um from this makeup artist and i just started doing it and i love it because then i can fix everything after my eyes i have foundation but you know i can just go back eyes i'm just gonna use the carnival palette from be perfect cosmetics um i bought this a few days ago and literally i'm in love so i think i'm just gonna go in with some pink bougie look um so i'm gonna go in with the concealer i used to care about my brow I'll go in with the shade Foolish, which is this one here, if it does focus. So this shade here, this pink shade. I'll just go into my crease. Oh, this is pigmented. I think like the shade you find in, the shades you find in this palette, you just cannot find them anywhere, like to be honest. But like, I find that the formula of these shadows um, and the previous palette as well they're just like so hard to find similar ones i don't know what they put in their eyeshadow palettes like be perfect cosmetics but oh my god so second shade i'll go in is this one here which is called makeup and i'm just gonna go in my outer v with this shade darker shade to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. Usually I kind of have an idea in my head when I'm doing um, my shadow, but I'm just like, you know, putting colors onto my lid and we'll see. I love these kind of shades. They're very girly and they match my top. Literally, I, it was so hot last week. Now winter is back, rainy, it's cold. I have to take uh, stuff back from my winter wardrobe. Like I'm wearing this jumper that I usually wear in the winter. The third shade I'm gonna use is this one here, which is called Influence. So very nice dark pink shade. I'm going in with this brush here, like it's like a little brush um, from Morphe E36. Literally, I brought I bought all my brushes from Morphe. Like I bought an eye brush set on a sale, then I bought these singular brushes here on a sale they were like all half price i just bought a few because i have like 300 brushes so i'm just packing this out on my outer corner i'm just gonna <laughs> literally i have to concentrate while i do my shadow because i don't even know what i'm doing here care about so i'm gonna go in with some concealer same concealer i used before my crease Cutting out my crease. I wouldn't be the best to cut my crease. I know I always say that I wouldn't be the best at doing this, but let's be honest, I don't know why people watch my tutorials. Like, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be the best at doing makeup. So, I go in with this shimmer here, this lovely purple shimmer here. So, I sprayed a bit in my brush, but obviously, I won't need it because this looks so lovely. Oh my god. Do you see that? It's absolutely stunning, my friends. I think like even if you will, if I would put it up with my, if I would put it on my lid with my finger, I think it would be even better. But I don't want my big fingers to touch my eyes in case they ruin the look. I'm gonna go back with the shade, um, like the shade Influence, which is this dark, dark purple here, just to blend that shade with the, with the shimmer. You know, I actually cut out my, my crease too high, but. I always feel that this eye comes way better than this eye here. 
Like it's not that I'm paranoid, it's just like reality. I have to clean all this all this jazz. I literally hate cleaning the bottom of my of my eye makeup with a facial wipe because it always looks very like weird when I do it. That's why I usually do my looks with sellotape because Obviously with concealer, I'm going to go in with the one I used to carry my brows, so conceal and define in shade 1.5, bit yellowy but we'll work with that. Usually I, the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer is my one of my favourite concealers and I use the shade 1, which I know some of you might think it's very light but I like that shade. I feel like my face is very dry. Usually I have a I have very oily skin, but with this acne problem I'm experiencing lately and all these products I'm using for acne and like the pill is making me my skin very flaky, like very dry. So this concealer is very nice. This one is very nice as well, but the other one it's my favorite. But this one is a nice concealer as well. I just have to put my hair back because I always feel like I have loads of hair and they're always in the middle. People might think I'm crazy because I always use very light concealers but that's the thing that I've always done so yes. I'm going to bronze after so I'm going to go in with some powder now. So I'm going to use this one which I didn't use in ages. This one here from Jeffree Star in the shade Fair. So for my powder, I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild sponge, which is a, has a very nice shape for powder, you know, to apply your powder under your eyes. I love this set uh, sponges. I feel like lately sponges at the drugstore have been very good. So I'm just going to apply this powder. This powder, like, it's very, um, it's good powder because it's very, like, finely milled. Like, it's very, it's not very chunky. So, like, you know, um... For some people that like, you know, feel that like their makeup always looks powdery or that kind of stuff and they still want powder, um, I would advise to use this powder because it doesn't make your your makeup very powdery, you know, it's very, it's a very light powder, you know. So I'm not going to let it sit too much because, you know, as I said, I have dry skin so I'm just going to remove it. My blemishes are still here, I can still see them, but what can I do? Just pisses me off that for like the whole week my skin was actually very good. I was very proud and today literally so many spots. So. Okay, so let's finish the eyes. Um, go in with the shade Lish and this shade here. Influence, sorry. Influence. My bottom lash. Foolish. And I'll just blend that out. Nothing um, special, you know. I'm all, I was like, oh, I'll probably not do like a wing look. You know, I'll do something very simple. And here I am with a wing look. Okay, so still looking crazy. You're very extra. I don't know where I would go. I love the way that I always do these extra eye looks on my eyes. But like, I would never wear them like in my real life. Like, even if I have a wedding or whatever, like, I never wear anything on my eyes. Like... I just wear a bit of bronzer like it would be rare to see me maybe with a bit of like shimmer but like I never do an eye look which is so weird because I always do eye looks on Instagram but people might think oh my god she probably goes out like that every time with all these extra stuff like what but I never do like you know even if I go out I don't know why I just I prefer when my eyes um have nothing on them I just they just look wider I don't know so after looking this extra I think it's time to do some bronzing up of the face usually i'm not contouring anymore at the moment but today because i want to be extra i'll contour so i'm gonna go in with my favorite brush which is this one here the zoeva um 105 lux highlight which is a, it is an eyeliner brush but i love to use this as contour like i only use this brush i don't use any other brush my favorite high um i was gonna say highlighter my favorite contour which is this one here which is the Hoola Contour from Benefit. This is the mini version. I'm gonna contour. Uh, oh my god, it literally feels so weird contouring after all these ones. I think the last time I contour was like literally three, four months ago. I'm always like wearing bronzer, not contouring anymore. Like I used to love con contour, but like at the moment, like 
I don't know. And I prefer to contour when it's like winter. I don't like to wear all this stuff in the summer. I have to say like hula contour. There's nothing else. I love this contour. I'm being very heavy handed as usual. I'm not going to do any nose contour. I just put some bronzer like this because I'm too lazy to train because my nose is a hell of a disaster. Like it wouldn't need a good contour, but oh, I don't have time to do all these things. Like literally, and I always like my nose. Like obviously it's not the favorite part of my face. Like if I go to make her thinner and like, you know, I know there's contour, but like I would be so lazy. But I always comment my nose like about bad things like I, I'm always saying I hate my nose but then like I literally never contour because me being lazy as usual you know so I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time fave bronzers the this bronzer here from Milani in, in the shades your nine Dolce I love this bronzer and I'm using what brush would I use I've used this brush here from Mac 187 I love using these types of brushes for for bronzer there's a bit of sheen in this bronzer which I think my face need right now because I look so matte so I'll bronze up a bit literally I love the way that I'm doing this makeup and then I'm staying home all day with my boyfriend my dog and my cat you know but that's it just do it for the gram so I'm just bronzing up my neck as well like I find that like even though I put foundation on my neck like even without foundation my face always looks dark on my neck like even on a regular basis like when I do wear like nothing that's so weird I don't know why so like I find that like in pictures you can always notice my neck I'm using this blush here from Lani very cute in the shade 05 luminoso very popular blush that everyone knows very cute i think it's a staple item you should have in your makeup bag if you don't have it um i actually love uh, all face products by, by milani love their foundation bronzers blush i should try more i'm gonna use this color pop here in the shade flexitarian very popular highlighter um i didn't use it in ages you know very popular but it's very bam see so too much you know like huh. it's very very pretty but sometimes it's just like in your face so obviously i can't use it on a daily basis you know but great for pictures great if you're going out great for like you know this highlighter it's a 10 out of 10. one of the most popular color pop highlighters I didn't use this in ages oh my god I have to say Colourpop singular highlighters oh I love all of Colourpop face products like I use this setting spray here and um, this is a mini so this is a mini from Jared Cosmetics what scent is this I think this is lavender um oh yeah this is lavender so I'm just gonna spritz this on my face Two hours later. Oh, oh, strong. Literally, if you see my vanity now, it's all wet. Like my hair, it's wet. Oh, I spray too much, but sorry. Literally, like usually I spray less, but oh, I felt like my face needed a good spritz because my face was dry AF. When I mean AF, I mean, oh, oh my god, I literally love dry cosmetic setting sprays. Oh. Everything is locked into now, so mm. Ooh, this setting spray I think it's so good. Like literally, if you need your face refreshed, if you're on holidays, you gotta bring that with you. Oh my god! So we're left to do my lips. I don't know if wearing a, a Jeffrey Star, Jeffrey Star, Jeffrey Star um lip product or what? This is maybe too dark. What do you think? Should maybe wear something lighter. So I'm just putting some brow gel. This one here is from Essence. Very cutesy. 
I actually love this fair gel from Essence. Very cute, affordable. So I'm gonna go in with this pencil right here. So it looks like this if it folks it. This is from an Irish brand, Luna by Lisa. Um, this is in the shade Morgnite. If you see their products, I have a lot of stuff from them. Hair stuff, lip products, um, lashes. Oh, their lip products, their lashes are stunning. Usually I prefer lighter lip pencils, but So I'm gonna go in with some lipstick. I'm gonna use this one here from Jeffree Star. So it looks like this. Androgyny. Oh, these are in the same colors. Oh my God, the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. Do you believe that this is the only lipstick I own from Jeffree Star? I should buy more because I love the formula of this. I just never thought about it. This is the final look. I'll just remove these clips, brush my hair because it's a mess. I swear to God, I literally look if I'm going to a festival, like a crazy festival. But I forgot to put my lashes on and I was just like, guys, this is the final look. So I'm actually going in with one of my favorite um, lashes from So Su which is in style poppy. I have to say these are if one of my favorite lashes, if not like number one, like I'm not being extra, but I love these lashes. The band, it's so like thin and slim. So while I wait my lashes to dry, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna go in with one of my all time favorite mascaras. This one here, I'll show you if it does focus maybe. So this one here from Max Factor. First, um, using this to make my lashes look longer. Not too much. I used to love this mascara. Not too much mascara because I'm gonna apply lashes and I'm gonna put lashes. So I'm back, lashes are on, they're still drying. I swear to God, like putting these lashes on, it literally took me, I'm not even messing, like 10 seconds. Like, I don't know why, what, like, what's up with these lashes, but it always takes me like 10 seconds to put them on. It's so weird, I don't know why, like what is up with that? I applied some mascara on the bottom of my lashes too. Absolutely love these lashes, I like five times but if you're looking for some lashes very nice easy to put on style poppy from so so this patch here in my hair i'm not doing anything special to my hair i know i wanted to do a full glam but i just washed my hair yesterday night so they're still very straight and clean and so guys this is the final look i hope you enjoyed yes it looks like i'm going to a festival yes this liquid lipstick is very dark i know it's not november but i didn't plan the look this is literally what came out of my mind you know and i just did it so yes i hope you enjoyed and i probably feel better now because i'm wearing makeup my hair is straight this highlight is popping so you know always feeling better when you put makeup on you know i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching this video i see you very very soon bye